I am Anil Kumar and in this video I have taken a few questions based on collinear points. The concept used will be that area of a triangle formed by three collinear points is always zero, right? So that's the base and here are the questions. You can pause the video, copy the questions and then look into my solutions. So the first question is, if three points x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3 are collinear, prove that y2 minus y3 divided by x2, x3 plus y3 minus y1 divided by x3, x1 plus y1 minus y2 divided by x1, x2 is 0. The next question will be, find the value of k if k3 6 minus 2 and minus 3, 4 are collinear points. Then we'll take up if P x y is a point on a line segment joining the points M and N, then prove that x plus y equals to A plus B. The last question will be if the point P minus 3, 9, Q, A, B, and R, 4 minus 5, are collinear, and A plus B equals to 1, find the values of A and P, right? So these are the four questions which we are going to now solve one by one. So let's begin with the very first question here, which is based on the formula for area of triangle, correct? So the question here is, we are given three points x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and we have to prove that if they are collinear then that is true so let us consider that they are not collinear right so if they are not collinear then we can form a triangle correct so let's say these are my points x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3, y3. So if they are not collinear, this is when not collinear. We have a triangle, right? So if there is a triangle, we can find area of this triangle. And area of the triangle, which is, I mean, area of triangle, is half of the formula is if I multiply by x1, I have to do y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2. That's the formula, right? So well, what we are saying is that they are collinear. So if they are collinear, then then the area should be zero, right? Area equals to zero for collinear points. Perfect. So we have to prove this is true if they are collinear. If they are collinear, area is zero. So I could write this as zero equals to half times x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2, right? If you cross multiply, that half vanishes and we can now open this bracket. So it becomes x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2 correct now at this stage what we can do is we can because we need that kind of denominator let's divide each term by x1 x2 x3 both sides right so divide both sides by x1 x2 x3 so this is what you're doing divide both sides by x1, x2, x3, right? 
So as soon as you do that, here 0 over anything is 0, so we get 0 equals to x1, x1 cancels. So we have y2 minus y3 over x2, x3, correct? Plus now here x2 cancels, right? So let me cancel them. So it would be easy for us to see. So this cancels, here x2 cancels, here x3 cancels. And so we can write y3 minus y1 over x1, x3, right? Plus y1 minus y2 over x1, x2 equals to 0, right? So we have proved it, right? So that is how we could do the first question. And now let's do the next one, which is find the value of k if k3 is one point. 6 minus 2 is the other, minus 3, 4 are collinear. So if all the three are collinear, right? So we could use the formula which we just proved, but it's better to start from the very basics, correct? So if they are collinear, if collinear, then area of triangle equals to 0, right? So what is the area of triangle? area equals to half times x is k y2 minus y3 so this minus this right so we have minus 2 minus 4 plus x2 which is 6 times 4 minus 3 4 minus 3 so I'm just applying the formula minus 3 times these two right 3 minus minus 2 becomes plus 2. Perfect. And the area should be 0, right? So 0 equals to half times this is minus 6 k and here we get plus plus 6 and here we get minus 3 times 5 uh, which is 15, so minus 15. So we get 0 equals to 2 gets multiplied and here we have minus 6k. Remember, this is always the absolute value, right? So we are always taking a positive value of this. Is it okay? So let me write the positive value here. So minus 6k. And here we, when we do this, we get 9, right? So we get minus 9. Correct? So, so that's what we get. Now, uh, well... We could take minus common and we could write 0 equals to uh, 6k plus 9, doesn't matter. Now you can rearrange and then find the value of k, right? So this implies that 6k equals to minus 9 or k equals to minus 9 over 6, which is dividing by 3, minus 3 over 2, right? So our answer is k equals to minus 3 over 2, correct? So that is how we could do it. Now, let's take the next example, which is, if point P is x, y, is on a line segment joining these points, A and B, then prove that x plus A equals to A plus B. So the concept remains the same for us. We are saying that the area of the triangle is zero. So for collinear points, which we are considering here, line segment means collinear points, right? So line segment means collinear points, which means area equals to zero. So we say area zero equals to half times so the point is x, y. So these are the three points. So the points which we are considering are, let me write down the points here once again. P is x, y. We'll draw order, right? Order is important. A, B. And N is B, A. Okay. So we'll take x value. B times A. Now A a minus y 
plus b times y minus b. That should be equal to 0, right? So when you multiply by 2, so, so we get x times b minus a plus a times a minus y plus b times y minus b should be equal to 0, correct? Now, we can open and rearrange these terms. We get xb minus a square plus uh, a square, oh, sorry, xb minus x x a. Let me write ax now. a square minus a y plus b y minus b square equals to 0. Now, well, we can... Uh, we can some we can rearrange them so if I rearrange we can take we have to prove this uh, that a plus b equals to x plus y okay so in this particular case uh, a square minus b square let me rearrange these terms okay so I'll write a square minus b square first a square minus b square which could be written as a plus b times a minus b now let's take x common in these two terms so we get x times b minus a and let's take y common here so we say plus y times uh, b minus a b minus a equals to zero correct now a square minus b square could be written as a plus b times a minus b we have here x times b minus a plus y times b minus a equals to 0 right now we can take b minus a common so we got b minus a common so if I take that b minus a common which is a minus b here I get minus a minus b here minus a minus b on this side I get plus x plus y correct equals to 0 now for this to be 0 either this should be 0 or that should be 0 is it okay now since we have to prove that x plus y equals to something we'll equate that to be 0 that means minus a minus b plus x plus y equals to 0 and now we can rearrange right so taking these terms to the right gives us x plus y equals to a plus b perfect so that is how we can actually prove this given condition right so so that is the proof for this i hope that is absolutely clear have a good look at it and then let's move on to the next question the question here is if the point p minus 3 9 q a b and r 4 minus 5 are collinear and a plus b equals to 1 find the values of a and b you can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions now when we say that the points are collinear in that case area of the triangle area of triangle pqr has to be zero right since they are collinear they are in the same line correct so the area has to be zero now the formula for area is equal to half of if the points are x1 x2 y1 y2 uh, x2 y2 and uh, x3 y3 then the formula is x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2, correct? And we always take the absolute value of this. It has to be a positive value. Now, in our case, we are considering the point, which is the points for us are p is minus 3, 9, Q is A, B, and R is 4 minus 5, okay? So we'll consider this to be the first point. So we'll use this as the order, right? 1, 
2 and 3. Now area is 0. So let me start with writing 0 equals to half of absolute value of minus 3 times b minus 5 that is b plus 5 correct plus a times minus 5 minus 9 plus 4 times 9 minus b perfect <coughs> so that becomes your uh, area and that is 0 so multiply by 2 we get 0 equals 2 now we can open this bracket. Uh, let me just solve this first. <clears throat> it is uh, minus 3 times b plus 5 plus a times 9 times 9 and this is 14, right? So minus 14. And here we have plus 4 times 9 minus b. Okay, let's open this bracket. So we have minus 3b minus 15 minus 14a 4 times 9 36 minus 4b <coughs> let's combine the terms minus 4b minus 3b is minus 7b <coughs> as far as a is concerned we have minus 14a and 36 minus 15 is 21 so we have plus 21 now we can rearrange bringing these terms to the left side we have 14a plus 7b equals to 21. Dividing by 7, we get 2a plus b equals to 7 times 3 is 21, right? So we get an equation relating a and b, which is kind of like this, correct? We are already given a plus b is 1. So, so we'll use these two equations now. One equation given to us is a plus b equals to 1. So we have a plus b equals to 1. Second, we just got 2a plus b equals to 3. Now, these are the two equations to solve to find both a and b. Is it okay? 1, 2. So if I do equation 2, take away equation 1, 2a minus a is a that is 0 and 3 minus 1 is 2 right so we get a equals to 2 as soon as I substitute here 2 I get 2 plus b equals to 1 or b equals to 1 minus 2 which is minus 1 right so we get our answer and that is a is equals to 2 and b is equals to minus 1 right so that is how we can actually solve this question so I hope with this you have learned how to solve questions based on linear points. Linear points really means that all the points are in the same line and therefore even if you form a kind of triangle its area is going to be zero and that concept is utilized in solving such questions. Feel free to post your comments and remarks and if you like and subscribe that'd be good. Thank you and all the best.